This video is brought to you by Kenneth Poggi. I have here two of the most beautiful keyboards I have ever had in my own life, but beautiful doesn't mean functional. This is the Rack Pluma and the RKG68. We'll compare both and see which one you should go get. First, let's talk about the aesthetics. As for the layout, I feel this is more of a subjective topic to talk about, so I'd give them both a match. But as for the RGB, the Rack Pluma does have a more vibrant, more aesthetic look to it compared to that of the RKG68. That could be because the RKG68 is color black and the RGB really doesn't shine. So in terms of aesthetics, I'd give one point to the Rack Pluma. As for both of their mod ability, RKG68 would win here because the bezel that surrounds the keys snaps off. It's very easy to tear down the RKG68, which gives it a win in terms of modability. As for both of their wireless capabilities, the RKG68 can be connected via wireless 2.4 GHz and Bluetooth mode. Now, let's talk about their Bluetooth mode since both of them do have it. I feel the delay so much with the Rack Pluma. As for the RKG68, I was able to game with this keyboard on Bluetooth mode. And I didn't even feel the difference compared to it being wired. Although there is some delay, it's just unnoticeable on my end. Now let's talk about the software. The software of the Rack Pluma is very basic, even that of the RKG68. But the RKG68 software is just a pain in the ass to work with. I... <sighs> you set up the profiles, you connect it back to wired, you check your profiles, and the profile you've saved is gone. <sighs> So far, it didn't happen to the Rack Pluma. Rack Pluma was smooth in terms of its software uh, management, and I would give this point to the Rack Pluma. Please note that I was not able to record a sound test with the Rack Pluma before I modded it, which was my mistake. So I guess I'll just give you a sound test of the RKG68. I couldn't give you one for the Rack Pluma. Now, as for the switches, the Rack Pluma has Outemus, while the Royal Kludge have switches that are branded Royal Kludge. The Royal Kludge stock switches are, I believe, they're factory lubed, but they feel super scratchy. Not the best to type on. Outemus feel way, way better than Royal Kludge switches. The Rack Pluma, on the other hand, although it's got Outemus and it feels good to type on, it's got some spring pings. But you don't get to hear them with your ears. So far, I don't. Only when I record them with my microphones do I hear the spring pings. Now, one of the hidden cons we have with the Rack Pluma that I wasn't able to talk about in my previous video is that the Rack Pluma has a sleep function, which is something you would expect from a wireless device. Unfortunately, when it sleeps and you turn it on with one keystroke, that first keystroke will not be registered on your computer. Now, you might say, mm, that's tolerable, but yes, it is, although it can be quite annoying in time. As for the RKG 68s con, you don't get kick-up feet underneath. It's already angled in a certain way in that you cannot lay this flat on your desk. Another con for the RKG 68 is that the USB pass-throughs behind it aren't very powerful. I tried to power two mice with this one both at 90 milliamperes and couldn't power both. Only one. I was done editing my videos even before I remember to talk about which one would win between the two. RKG 68 would win here because with an added 600 pesos or about $12, you would get uh, two USB pass-throughs at the back and very low latency in terms of both Bluetooth connectivity and 2.4 GHz USB dongle. Even if the software is clunky, I would say I don't use the software, so I think it's just fine. RKG 68 wins.